people like Noel Card and Laurence Olivier and Vivian Lee and Ivan Novello as sort of just characters that just come in, which which gives it a certain Romana Clef sort of sort of feeling. Yeah. Well, we'll take a little commercial and come back and talk to you more about real life love, desire, hate, oh, yes, men, that's... romance, oh, yes. How? How? All, all that yes. kind of stuff. Wanna we'll be that. right back with Joan Collins. <laughs> We were just talking about uh, um, talk shows mm. in England. Uh, what's the difference in women in England and women here? Oh, that is so hard to um, answer because there's so many different types of women in England and so many different types of women in America. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I suppose that the, basically it's not just a difference of women, it's a difference in general, in the general sort of characterization of the country of, of our people is that we are more reserved. It is a natural thing that we have. I mean, I know that somebody said to me the other day, you know, I saw you and I seen you, and you're always so re kind of cool and in command. And I said, well, you know, that that's my upbringing. It doesn't necessarily mean that I that I am that inside. I can be sort of quaking as I was before I came on the show. I was quite nervous. Um, but it, we we do have this sort of rather kind of cool veneer that often makes people think that we're snotty. We're not. You know what snotty means? Oh, yeah. You know, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. We use that word a lot. You do? <laughs> yes. So someone who thinks um, that Joan Collins is snotty yeah. is way off. Well, I think, yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I do have, um, I mean, I'm in control of my um, emotions. I'm not going to come in and fall flat on my face, although I did think when I was standing out there, I, I said to your stage manager, if I walk on because my shoes are new and I fall flat on my face, are you going to redo it? And he said, no. I said, gee, thanks a lot. That'll really be good, <laughs> won't it? The skirt will go over the head. So you have that sort of quaking feeling. But, I mean, it's like, you know, I was trained as an actress at, at the Royal Academy in London. And um, you do have tremendous, tremendous nerves before... You see, things like things that like... make people think, no, that's snotty. I, I, was, I was trained at the Royal Academy of Comedy in Cleveland. <laughs> and, uh, you know, no, people, might think, people might think that kind of thing is snotty. Well, it's just the way I talk. I'm sorry. What can I say? <laughs> I mean, I can talk with my American accent if you like. Accent. That's good. Yeah. Well, sure, I've done that too. I can do that. No, but so therefore, you are, you, when you go on the stage, which I've just been doing for five months in London, you cannot go on as you really are, which is a mass of jelly, you know, trembling and fearful and sweating and your mouth is so dry that you're. That it, you know, your tongue is stuck to the roof of your mouth, and, and you just think that you're going to fall down, forget your lines, do all the, fall into the audience, embarrass yourself, God knows what. And so it is a, it's a question of control, which comes from in here and translates itself to the art of thing. But you know, the great actor, Laurence Olivier, um, when he had been acting for something like over 40 years, and he was then sort of 65 or something, for six years, he had the most dreadful stage fright it suddenly developed, and he was unable to walk on the stage without having chills and, and, thinking that, and thinking he was never going to be able to remember his lines. So it's something that can hit you at any point. And, and when I was doing the play, sometimes I would be standing there with my co-star, and I would think, what am I going to say next? What am I going to say next? I don't know what I'm going to say next. And then suddenly, because your computer has got it all up there, you hope it comes to you. And, and you have those, that thing sometimes like, what am I doing here? What am I doing on this stage in front of a thousand people dressed in this 1930s dress, saying this no card dialogue? How ridiculous. I should be home, lying, you know, eating a pizza and, and watching a video. I mean, this is ridiculous. Yeah. You do get those things. What kind of man does Joan want in her life right now? Well, I've got one, and I'm perfectly happy with him, so I'm not looking for anybody else. And what is he like? He is very private. Mm -hmm. um, he is wonderful, kind, generous. Clever, handsome, tall, blonde, everything. Yeah. He's all those things? He's all those things, yes. Where did you find this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose this will sound snotty. No. <laughs> I was introduced to him at a dinner party in London uh -huh. about um, four years ago. And we've been together ever since. Well, three and a half years. And um, it's one of those relationships that's um, very, very good. And so I don't talk about it. It's my private life. We don't talk about it very much. Again, one of my... British reserves. You know, although I've lived in America since I was Kind of what you just said to me is, don't ask me no more damn questions about my love life. <laughs> that, that's really what, what you kind of just said. That was the subject. Is that but, what I said? Yeah. yeah I, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of quietly Fine, Joan. We'll talk about something else. <laughs> well, how's your love life? My love life is, is cool. Is it? Um, yeah. yeah. Does that mean like cold or cool? 
Uh, or hot. I mean, <laughs> I mean, never know uh, in America what the new word is. Whether yeah, I was just trying to use a we... word maybe that would just slide by you and you wouldn't ask me. any okay, more questions. Because right, I'm very private the... about my. All right. <laughs> Be that way then. I will ask you. <laughs> now, what were you about? You were about to say something else? Um, no. Okay, we can uh, we can move on. Uh, how's the perfume, by the way? Good. It's all right. Yes, it's, it's doing fine. I think I forgot to put something on. But the other thing that I have, which I oh, meant to put him on. No, I forgot to put it you on. You don't smell like anything, No, Jim. I... So <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I... You I don't, don't know. You, well, that is good. You smell um, like you just bathed and left out. Yes, well, I did. I forgot to put the perfume on. But I do have my glasses. I have a, a line of, of eyeglasses. And I've been watching you with yours. Uh -huh. Do you really need them? No, no. They're an accessory. Just an accessory. They're, 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 really it's like a watch or like... Yeah, the... but it looks great, actually. I like, I like, that, I like that frame. I, I might copy it for my next line. If you like this... I'll probably wear two pair tomorrow. No, will you? Because... <laughs> One hanging on a little string, right? <laughs> yes, I think you have good taste. I try. You... I do try. You do, too. You're always extremely well-dressed. I've noticed that, because I've been watching the show in the last few nights. And... Kmart. And... Oh, yes. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get some of your glasses when they come out. Um, we gotta go. Thanks for coming by. The book is called Love and Desire and Hate. This is Joan Collins. <laughs>